The row will automatically update with all the new sizes and parts. Now that the road is complete, we will want to make a drawing of it so it can be produced. This has been made much easier with the pipe drawing tool. What this will do is create an isometric drawing of the pipes fully dimensioned. First, we have to save the route. We can choose to save externally or internally inside the assembly using virtual components. SolidWorks will now open up the route assembly and allow you to choose the options for your drawing. First of all, you choose the sheet format as well as the piping bill of materials if you would like a bill of materials. We'll browse to the bill of materials template we've created for pipes. The other options are to include auto balloons and show the route sketch in the drawing. SolidWorks now creates an isometric view of the piping and creates the bill of materials based on the template. As well, dimensions and balloons are automatically added, and only a bit of formatting is required to have a good piping drawing. The last small improvement for routing is the ability to remove connection points from a route. When adding an item with multiple connection points, such as this reducing T, it will automatically start a route from each one of the connection points. To remove one, it is now as simple as right-clicking on the point and choosing Remove C-Point from Route. 